everybody, Emmanuel here from Majesty's House of Music from our studio here. Um, maybe I need to get more light. Oh uh, yes. Now I want to talk about atmosphere. Now, um, some of you don't know how to back up a worshiper or a preacher before they start singing a song um, maybe they are talking they are reading some scriptures and you want to know how do you give them a musical backup okay so that it helps create an atmosphere of worship because many times we we hear people being destructive okay or this distracting the audience from listening to what the preacher is saying okay but you want to be supportive okay now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I would support a preacher or a worship leader during a moment of prayer or meditation and I'll be using a pad okay you can use piano but in this case I'm going to be using a pad you can use strings but I'm going to, to show you the kind of movements or simple chords that you can apply so that you back up the person who is uh, leading the service without distracting and just creating an atmosphere that allows people to meditate on the moment, right? So let's get right into this lesson. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please just remember to hit the subscribe button uh, at the bottom of this video so that you're always updated when I post new lessons. So let's get into this. All right, so... I'm going to explain this at least maybe in two or three keys so that I capture as many of you as I can who are playing in different keys. I'll maybe I'll do something in key C. I'll do something in F sharp. I'll do something in key G. Um I think those three keys will be good, right? At least uh, in that way, I'll capture many of you. But the most important thing is for you to understand the concept behind it. All right. So when somebody is uh, uh, leading an intercession or someone is just talking and the song has not started. Number one, what you don't want to do is, most of the times is um, you don't want to play a song. OK, uh, it's not bad. But you don't want you, you want to avoid to you know playing a song that can be picked up by the ears of the audience or the congregation because that will begin distracting somebody to begin humming the tune and maybe there is a specific exhortation you know or encouragement that is being said and you don't want somebody's mind to drift to a tune that you are playing. That's also not the time that you want to kind of show off your skills or your runs you don't want to do those runs and you know become so busy because this is a moment of meditation okay so you don't want to play a song that somebody can pick up because that will take away the attention you just want to play some movements that are subtle okay subtle movements or um you know a, a, a movement that cannot be attached really specifically to a certain song but that allows the people to meditate you you just want to create um kind of a, a bed you want to create a, a foundation where everything is resting on right and for example if i'm in the key of c let me illustrate this i can just start with this c sus2 chord okay C, D, G on my right hand with a C major on the left. And I can rest there for some time. Okay? And then, slowly I can then move to an A on the left, maintaining that C sus2 on my right. Okay? And then, can move to this D minor on my right with the D on the left that's A, D and F it's an inversion of D minor and then I maintain what I have on the right and the left moves to G 
and then I can throw in this A minor, C, E, A, and then I can end off with this C major 7th chord. So what did I just play? Okay, let's start. Now the person is talking, for example, reading a scripture. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Throwing in some notes there. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. parts of quietness, the still waters. Okay. Blessed is he who dwells in the house of the Lord. Blessed are they who dwell in your presence, for they are ever praising you. Blessed is he whose strength is in you whose hearts have been set on pilgrimage. We will go from strength to strength till each one of us appears before God in Zion. See, I'm just trying to be quiet. See, not playing any particular flow. I'm just playing some movements. Just a one, a six, a two, a five, So that's C major, A minor, D minor, and then a G7 there, okay? And then, most of the time, I want to move with the energy of the person, okay? When the person uh, brings in more energy, I want, I want to bring in, to be more aggressive, okay, in my attack. And then you can use your modulation wheel. Okay? If you want more aggression, my piano has a modulation wheel at the end. Okay? I believe most pianos have that. So when you pick a pad, if you switch the modulation wheel, it will add a different texture to the sound. Okay? If you listen to my modulation wheel, let's move to a key, Let, let's move to F sharp. That's more bright, okay? It has more grain to it, okay? If I want it to be more paddy and less less of the string, okay? I push down the modulation wheel, okay? So you can also play with that around, okay? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Yes, you are worthy to be prayed. G sharp minor seventh there. More of the modulation. Less of it. We exalt you. I maintain that G sharp minor seventh with a C sharp now on the left. You are worthy, Lord. F sharp on the left. And on the right, I'm playing an F sharp major seventh. Why? I have C sharp, F, G sharp, and C sharp. Yes, Lord, you are worthy. D sharp minor, eleventh. That is D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and C sharp. You are worthy, Lord. Give you the praise. B major seventh on the right with C sharp on the left. We give you the glory, Lord. F sharp major seventh, sus two. We give you all the honor, Lord. Modulation. We 
worship you. We bring a sacrifice of praise. Now, this kind of thing works very well if the person who is leading is also musical and you can be able to communicate and connect between, for example, at that point when I hear, for example, the person who is leading is now resolving like down to the one. We bring to you, Lord. Bring to you, Lord, sacrifice of praise. I know I'm supposed to be on a one, okay? So you're also sensitive. When is the person leading resolving? You, you also resolve down to kind of a one, okay? If you're in F sharp, of course your one is F sharp major. You are worthy, Lord. Father, we bless you, worship you. How great are you, Lord? How great are you, Lord? We bring a sacrifice of praise, a sacrifice of worship before you, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are thankful. Great is thy faithfulness. Modulation. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. F sharp major seventh. Okay. Oh, for my friends in the key of G. Okay. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. D major. Blessed be the name of the Lord. C major on the right. The left all this time is like on a G, okay? Blessed be the name of the Lord. G sus 2. And I'm just playing A, D, and A. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Maintaining A, D, and A on my right with E on the left. That's a 6. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Highly exalted, yes, Lord, you are. to an A on the left, maintaining that C sus 2 on my right. We give you glory. Lord, we give you honor, Lord. We give you all of the praise. C sus 2. We give you all the glory. C minor. We worship you, Lord. Holy, holy is your name. Now, if you are leading on a piano, it becomes very easy. For example, you see, I can interpret, I can interpret the kind of chords that I want and uh, with what I am singing and I know how to back up myself, okay? So if you're also a worship leader, you can have those moments when you're just creating a moment for people to pray, to intercede, and you can play these kind of soft movements as you leading, as you are leading on the microphone, assuming that you have the microphone, okay, connected to your stand, okay. Oh, we bring a sacrifice of praise. G major seven. We bring a sacrifice of praise. G major seven, but the left moving to E. We bring a sacrifice of praise. C sus two for my four. C minor. Uh, now I'm not yet finished. Lord, we worship you. More aggressive modulation. Lord, we give you the praise. We worship the beauty of your majesty. The beauty of your majesty. We love you, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus. So as I said, move with the energy of the person leading, okay? Move with the energy. If they get more aggressive, do some modulation. 
if they are more quiet then you also limit your your touch okay you can use a pad you can use a string if your piano allows you to combine both string and pad more than one voice combine a pad and a string then balance them out well so that the string is not too bright just somewhere where brings in a, a just a soft backup right yeah if you have a piano you can also have a piano and a pad following along okay but you want to be very careful especially when you start bringing in the piano sounds then the temptation for you to get busy you know just comes in so you have to be very maintain you know just a low profile you know and your work there you know is to serve and to back up the person who is leading you don't want to be the main person okay you're just serving you have to submit and and submit under the person who is leading okay now these tips also work for you who are playing second keys okay those of you playing keys too and uh you have a moment where the person leading worship is on, is on the key one and you're just back there trying to give them a backup before they start playing their song you want to be submissive to that person you don't want to be on key keys too and you are you you it's like you're now the main keyboardist okay very busy you know you want to serve the moment okay you don't want to serve yourself so I uh, just mentioned that if you want um if you your interest mainly is in learning how to play piano uh I've highlighted three keys C F sharp and G I have courses which uh just can help you learn how to play in these keys okay not really for these pads or now the real piano courses where I go into detail about the kind of chords I've been using if you want to learn praise and worship movements in key C key G and F sharp I have three courses in all those keys right um just check below this video in the description you'll find i'll put the three links to these three courses uh on my website key c key g and f sharp then you can just click through the links to my website and uh, order those courses they really help you understand this type of chords and movements and that will be a blessing to you right and if you want to order these courses through my WhatsApp number or my email, I'll also put the contacts below this video. And I believe um, this will take you to the next level. So remember, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please just hit the subscribe button right now. Share out this video with somebody and let's uh, encourage each other to grow and develop as worship musicians. God bless you and see you in the next lesson. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now there are just a few things I'd like you to do to help us spread this word and support us. The first thing is to go ahead and hit the like button below this video. Just go ahead and hit the like button. And the second thing you can do is to share this uh, video on our social media platforms, on Facebook, on Twitter. Just go ahead and hit the share button so that we help us to spread this message so that more people can get access to these lessons. And the third thing is that if you have been watching my lessons and you're not subscribed to my channel, please just go right ahead right now. Now, log into Google with your Gmail, okay? With your Gmail, your email address, log into uh, YouTube, and then hit the subscribe button so that you'll always be notified when I release new classes. And then the last thing you can do is to visit our website, majestieshouseofmusic.com, then click on the piano video courses, and you'll see a list of several longer detailed courses where I go much deeper into uh, these concepts okay so if you visit our website you can order those courses there online if you have a PayPal account if you don't have a PayPal account you can just send me an email or a WhatsApp message and then we can communicate on how you can order the courses and how I'll deliver them to you as downloadable files I'll simply send to you a link and you can download the course that you are interested in so thank you for following this channel and God bless you see you in the next class